the world reacts, everybody, and uh, this is just another reaction to Senator Kamala Harris uh, has been chosen for the vice president candidate by uh, Joe Biden. And uh, what do I think? I, th I think it's a good pick. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, Biden had pretty much already promised uh, to go with a, uh, a woman uh, for his vice presidential running mate. And of the women, the kind of handful that he had at his fingertips, uh, I think, although not his best friend, like another lady was, I think Kamala was pro is probably the most dynamic of the field. Um, I, you know, for the record, I was endorsing uh, Jesse Ventura, but uh, Jesse Ventura has not uh, stepped up, as far as we can tell, to run for president. So we're kind of left with the Democrats versus the Republicans, the the same old song and dance, but on a positive note, I think uh, Kamala will uh, prove to be a dynamic speaker. If there are debates, which I'm hoping the tradition of the debates do occur, because there are a certain amount of people like myself who, who wait for these debates and actually look forward to them. So I don't know if uh, there's been rumors that either Biden or Trump are, are both ducking these debates, uh, shirking the tradition of the debates. I hope that's... Uh, not going to remain the case and we'll have some nice debates or, or maybe not even so nice debates but in any event my opinion is I think Kamala for many people is uh, going to prove to be more likable than Mike Pence I think Pence uh, has his beliefs and that's fine but I think he's the type of guy that wants to enforce his beliefs on everybody else uh, Kamala I, I don't get that vibe from her I could be wrong and I know that uh, Kamala is definitely uh, not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Uh, Tulsi, like I said, uh, I would have liked to have seen her in the mix, but uh, it's not her time. Maybe it will be in eight years or four years. I could also see a scenario, folks, and I'll, I'll pull the Babe Ruth and I'll point to the sky on this one. I can see if, if, if Biden does get elected, which is still a big if, if Biden and Kamala do win this election, I can see Biden stepping out of the office within six months, within four months, to be honest with you. I can see them conjuring up a story of health issues for Biden and uh, him leaving the office and putting Kamala in as president and then I'm not sure how that system would work if they choose their own vice president or if there's a, a rank and file system if the Secretary of State or whatever jumps in there but I could see them easily for a, for a guy no offense to Biden but for a guy at his state uh, they could easily have any type of health issue they could conjure up any any doctor could write him a note a, a, a Joe can no longer be president note to the world so it's it's quite possible that Kamala Harris could be elected uh, vice president and then kind of seamlessly become our uh, first female and uh, first female president and first female African-American president I reading about her history her mom's from India her father's from Jamaica uh, but she does identify as African-American and that's fine or black whatever you want to say but I do think that Kamala most likely uh, is going to do very well in these debates if, if they do occur. So th that's my opinion. Uh, I have not told you who I'm voting for. I, I am disappointed that we don't have a third party candidate. Uh, but maybe that's just not going to happen this time. So whatever your thoughts, uh, typically I stay away from politics. I just share my original films, my TV series, Messier Mantra and Messier Peace Theater. And stuff like that, but I figured I'd, I'd make a kind of reaction video to this news, MikeMessier.com. Feel free to put your comments down. Try to be somewhat civil, but uh, put your comments down. How you, if you're feeling Trump and Pence uh, for uh, 2020, if you're feeling Kamala and Joe, I'll put that down. Uh, Joe's still not off the hook with me with uh, these creepy Uncle Joe videos. I, I still think about that weird stuff, but we'll see what happens, folks. Okay, Mike Messier.